So this couch is coming out to get ready for a new couch and I'm really hoping it doesn't turn into the fiasco that the last furniture move turned out to be. Yeah, there's, we're not going to say, oh, it's just six bolts. No, no, I'm not saying a word. No, because we have looked at it. There's quite a few moving pieces to this. And it's going to be heavy because we all know it's got that bed inside. So yeah. hopefully between broken fill and... <laughs> And weak me, <laughs> we can get it out the door. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. First thing off is, of course, we've already taken most of the things off my mantle, as I call it, or table. This is something I created to, to give us a little cup space. It's a little dusty right now, but don't tell. So, it don't actually judge. worked. Don't judge. It actually worked out pretty well. If you want to see the video on how I made this, it was obviously pretty simple. I'll link that down below. There's three bolts holding the entire couch to the slide on each side. I'm going to remove those and we'll slide it out and maneuver it so that we can work with taking the sides off and getting the bed out. Watch kiss. Yeah. So you're taking this out yeah. next? So in order to get the bed frame assembly out of the couch, looks like it is screwed to frame. the the frame so here's one and here's another one where this bed frame where it pivots where i think it's attached they'll come out well let's not tear it up lift okay put on the floor lift you're dragging Get it off. Yeah, I'm be careful out. on that side there. Yeah, I'm I can't see. I'm hit on the floor. The bottom of the thing. Alright, hold on. I need to grab something. Okay, Matt. Can we just put it right here? Yeah. Okay, that wasn't that bad. It was definitely, definitely lighter than those uh, stupid captain's chairs because those almost kicked my butt. Okay, it, yeah. it did kick her butt. There's no almost, and it did kick my butt. This is definitely going to be uh, a different RV once all the furniture is changed out. Yeah. Right now, we're going to take the sides off, and then the back comes off. We've seen it, so we know what will happen. Think. We hope. If you plan to remove your sofa like we are, Phil just found a third screw, so you'll have to hit all three to take the sides off. And if you're wondering why we decided to remove the sides, well, it's simple. The smaller it is, the easier it's going to be to fit out our tiny door. Okay, make that four screws, one of which we can't get to, so now let's... Phil is flipping it upside down because we're going to be taking more apart than we expected. So now we're going to have to take off this small padding, which the only thing it was good for was separation between the actual sleeper and the couch itself, just to give some support. Friends said 30 minutes to take yeah. theirs out. So Rise. we didn't start the timer, but I'm oh. going to say we've only been going for 10. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm gonna lie. Oh, theirs was 30 minutes because they weren't recording. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's it. what it is. They went super fast. We keep having to stop and adjust cameras. Yeah. Camera batteries. No, can't, can't see. He don't care. He's just gonna lay wherever. He's just gonna lay wherever is the most comfortable for him. Yeah. Forget what y'all are doing. Oops. There you go. Oh, yeah. Okay, let that one stay there. Let me get these. Okay. Others. Much faster when you can get to it. This top piece comes off right here, these four screws on the inside. And that should come off. See it move? Yeah. Curious to know what the inside of your RV couch looks like? It's not what I expected. It's definitely not solid, filled with cush. It's uh, just an empty box. It actually came apart a lot easier than I thought. You can see it came out in, but one, two, three, four, five pieces. That's not bad. Oh man, this is nothing. <laughs> you can do this by yourself. Almost. It is much longer though. So okay, no more don't. Oh, sorry, sorry. I was just focused on the stairs. I didn't want to pull you down. You didn't. Put this. I don't want to put this on. 
I'll have to do some touch up, cover this up. This is all scratched from the uh, couch and the table that we had on the back side of it. So I have tape, I have seam tape that I can use to cover it so it hides it a little bit more so it won't, won't stick out. And then we'll figure out where the seat belts will go in relation to the next um, couch and then placement of the legs um, and how far we can drill into the slide to hold it in place. So no, we got some work to do and it looks like we may need to get a trim piece maybe. Might be able to see that back there now. So I do recommend you guys um, getting seam tape from your manufacturer. You should be able to let them know your model and your year and they should be able to send you seam tape just for these things. Yeah, we had probably a half roll because we went around when we first got when we first got Ruby we went around there was seams up here that you could see that they totally have, missed them yeah up high so it was somebody Stacy's height that went through and put seam tape on the day of production <gasps> either that was uh, the QC was short like me too I would yeah. assume it looks much bigger empty <laughs> it does we have so much room for activities yeah. now <laughs> So now we just need to vacuum it up, make sure it's all dust free, and find what's going there next. All right, we're going to interrupt this video to remind you about our fundraiser. We are in the middle of our Homes for Our Troops fundraiser, and we want you to participate, and hopefully you can win a great prize. Like this Schecter guitar with a mm -hmm. engraved Today is Sunday on the front. This is a pretty sweet guitar. It's now, really nice. I don't know anything about guitars <laughs> other than Schechter is a big name in the guitar business. Eric from Techno RV played it. <laughs> well, he actually, us. he played them both and he did a great job yeah. for both of them. This is one sweet looking guitar. And it also comes with a hard carrying case. You can yep. see there in the corner and the prize is worth about a thousand bucks, but that's not all. We also have other prizes like Gas Stop and Harvest Host and You, Me, and the RV Merch and RV Life. So all of those companies are joining in and you can win by simply donating directly to Homes for Our Troops. And for every $10 dollar amount that you donate, increases your chance to win some of these prizes. One $10 donation is one raffle ticket and a hundred bucks will get you 15 raffle tickets. Yeah. So if you want all the details are on our website, we'll put a link down below. And please know every dollar you donate to Homes for our troops it builds a home for a veteran and it does more than just give them a home it gives them independence it relieves their caregiver burden it really changes the future of their family you can change that for a veteran so please check out homes for our troops follow the link below it'll give you all the details for this amazing charity which by the way 90 cents for every dollar goes to homes for our troops not to the charity so it's another reason why we love working with these guys and none of the money comes to us you donate directly mm -hmm. to homes for our troops following the link provided we are just a voice for the veterans yeah. who will get one of these sweet adaptive homes and if you haven't been to a key ceremony look up homes for our troops see where their key ceremonies are they happen all over the country yep. and if there's one close to you i encourage you to go check it out and take tissue when you do yeah or sunglasses it's here it's here <laughs> <laughs> finally we'll fill this big open space behind us i was so stressed about the couch just fitting through the door and this one fit through perfectly and not by us <laughs> yeah no there was no back-breaking labor on our part yeah, when the guy showed up, Phil was like, well, they can bring it in. And I was like, okay. Yeah, I quickly remembered this thing was about 140 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, they're young guys. Let them do it. And they, they got it in in no time flat. We would have been struggling forever. It probably would have killed me because it's pretty heavy. <laughs> it is. But, I mean, we there was a little maneuvering to get, get it in, you know, past the ceiling and, and that angle coming through the door. But it came in first attempt, so we're pleased. Now we just have to do the unboxing. <laughs> Okay. So I guess we need to get this out the door. Smells like This couch is completely together except for the feet. So obviously 
this install went much faster no. than our captain's chairs. <laughs> this is gonna be the best day ever. You got me looking so fresh. I can't get no better. Baby, I'm a T Rex. Ready to flex on the king of the jungle. Gonna be the best, best day. Alright, see. Oh my gosh. I think I have the room for that. It's so much more comfortable. The very first upgrade we did before we even moved into the RV is the headboard and the window boxes. I hated those big, brown, bulky, crazy, thick window boxes. So those came down and I actually took material that was hanging up in our dining room. It was uh, our dining room curtains and I cut it up and then we recovered everything. Now the window boxes are the actual top part of the window box. We literally just cut the sides off, took off all those layers of trim and then we just added batting and stapled it all on there. So I do have a video for all of these upgrades. So if you want to see details, I'll list those down below. One of our favorite upgrades was actually very simple. It's right here. This added so much light to this area. It was like a deep dark little cave back here as you headed to the bedroom and adding this bright color, they call it penny tile and it's actually a peel and stick. So we added it from the floor all the way to the ceiling. It really brought in a lot of light in here and we actually put it behind the TV as well. So this was very inexpensive and very easy to do. So it's a nice way to add like an accent wall or a punch of color or brightness to the RV. If you had left me alone for another 10 seconds, I'd have been out. <laughs> well, you can't, we have work to do. Continuing on with the theme of lighten and brighten, we added this faux tin to our bathroom. It really brightened it up in here a ton and it was really easy to put on. It's not here permanently, just like the pill and stick tile, this is actually put on and can easily be removed if we, for some reason, sold our RV, which is not gonna happen. And finally, if you guys have been following us for any length of time, you'll know we painted our cabinets. A lot of people really freaked out when they saw us actually painting real wood cabinets but we really needed to lighten and brighten this little hallway up in here. It literally was like a dungeon. So we are really glad how it turned out. It's been, what, two years now? Two years. Two years since we, we actually painted it, and there's some minor, minor chips in it that we need to touch up, but it has really held up over time. Much better than I actually had expected it to. All right, seriously, I can't do this. Anybody who knows me will know I never nap, Phil. Let's get, let's do something so that it's believable. Okay, let me assume my normal position. Ah, there we go. All right, so what do you think about the couch? This thing is super comfy. It is, it is more comfortable than it looks. Um, and there's more space for my broad shoulders to lay on this than the other couch, so I really like it. We've had it for a few days and I love everything about it yeah it's super comfy it's a little darker than what i wanted originally that's what i yeah. thought anyway yeah. and then we got it in here and i'm like yeah it's growing on me i like it we were both wanted something lighter because we want it light and bright in here but see those cabinets right there this wall in this slide is going to be that color by january 1st <laughs> so i don't know when we're going to get it done but both slides this slide and the slide with the um, the table, the dinette, both of those are gonna get painted. So once we do that, it's totally gonna to pop. Yeah, and I'm gonna drag my feet on that painting part as long as I can. It's happening. Before we start talking about Phil's new favorite piece of furniture, let's talk about the price of the couch. The couch by itself was $7.99. It does not include delivery, which was about another 150-ish dollars. Which was well worth every penny. Now, it did come from Ikea. Did we Ikea. say that yet? Um, the reason we chose Ikea was for one reason and one reason only. We found a couch that was comfortable at a reasonable price that fit through the door. Yeah, size does matter when it comes to <laughs> RV spaces, trust me. And we only had about 25 inches to work with coming through the door. And the box that the couch came in was exactly 21 inches wide. We yep. looked at some other furniture um, stores, but we couldn't find anywhere the furniture either came apart or was small enough that we could get through the door, except for some ultra, super, very uncomfortable modern pieces. So this is Phil's baby. I'm telling you, this thing, hands down, is the most comfortable recliner I've sat in. And it goes back and back and back. I've taken a couple naps in it just to give it a good 
two thumbs up review. By a couple, he means a whole lot. This chair came from Lazy Boy. This one fit my bill as far as the looks of it and fills for the comfort and it actually comes apart so we can easily move it around the RV if we need to. And the best part was it wasn't big and clunky. It yes. wasn't over cushioned or plush, just those big clunky recliners because on travel days, it has to fit in the space behind it. Right, me. right. So that's where we, we had to kind of keep it a little bit narrow, kind of keep it streamlined. And this one, not only does it rock, but it swivels, which yeah. is what I really wanted was to swivel. We did have to shorten the couch a little bit in order to make this recliner fit. The RV couch that was here was 93 or 94 inches long, and this new couch comes in at 88, so we shaved off you know, a good six, seven yeah. inches of space over in this slide. We would love to hear if you have switched out your RV furniture. And the big question is, did you get more RV furniture or did you get regular household furniture? And how did you get it in through the door? Yeah, million dollar <laughs> question is, how did you get it into the RV? Any info you can provide will help anybody who's watching this video and then reading the comments. So of course, Ikea is not the only place. So if you know of a store that has furniture that will fit through RV doors, please share it with everybody. Yeah, please do. Don't leave yet. We have one more thing to share with you. I wasn't leaving. <laughs> we planned a cruise and we want you to come with us. Yeah, we are super excited for this five-day cruise. It's happening next May mm -hmm. um, out of... Jersey. New Jersey. I forget <laughs> the port. But it's going to be next May out of New Jersey. And we're looking forward to it. We've been planning this for a while. Um, and we want you to reap some of the benefits of that as well. Now, we don't have that many seats left. We're over 50% full seats, I should say, cabins. cabins. Um, so we have 45 cabins left, and every day we are getting more and more bookings. So if you can come, don't wait. I will put a link down below for all the details so you guys can figure out how to pay your deposit, snag your cabin, and come with us on the cruise. We're looking to have a ton of fun, and it would be really nice to put a face to a name and say thank you in person. Now, if you're bummed because you're just not hearing about the cruise, if you had subscribed to the newsletter, you would have heard about it weeks ago. <laughs> weeks. So if you want to always be in the know about anything that's coming down for our channel, make sure you subscribe. There's a ton of information in those new newsletters, useful information. So we can't always squeeze a lot yeah. of this information into a video. Nobody wants to watch a 45 minute video. <laughs> so subscribe to the newsletter so you don't miss out. And make sure you snag your cabin. We hope you're coming with us. The 